Hello. Hello. We've just come back from a three night and four day stay at Disneyland Paris. Um, so we thought we would do a little haul video of everything we bought. Yeah, this is um, the first stay that we've had uh, in 2021. Last day we had was October 2020. So um, yeah, and this time around we stayed at the Davy Crockett Ranch. Um, it's the second time we stayed there. But this time we used the pool facilities for the mm, first time. Which is amazing. Um, and it, we would highly recommend it if you want an amazing pool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so JV Crockett was great. We did have a minor issue there with a bit of a wasp problem yeah. in our cabin. But, you know, Apparently it hasn't happened before, but... <laughs> yeah, who knows. Um, anyway, we will jump straight in to everything we bought. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I will just quickly mention is in the hotel room, we got these little chocolate coins. They were free. We didn't buy them. They were just in the room, um, just with some of the different characters on. So they're cute. And we also got the free shampoos and conditioners yeah, that, that everybody gets Disney in the Hotel rooms. gives you. So, um, to start off, we're still in the pandemic, so... We got these masks. They were actually released new in the parks whilst we were there, which is quite lucky. On a Friday. Um, no, I, I brought, we were in the studio. As you go into the studios the, on the left, the big shop, um, I sort of caught them and uh, I was like, well, I'll get one of those. And the woman said, oh, you're the first person I've sold one of these to. They've just come in today. Yeah, um, so they were six euros, mm, I believe. And you could use your AP discount on them. So, yeah, so everything, sorry, that's the thing. Everything we got was 20% off with the infinity discount. Yeah, so. so these are a bit more like the sort of medical masks, but these are actually reusable um, and you can wash them. That's what we've been told. We mm -hmm. haven't actually tried it yet. But yeah, they're pretty decent. If you want something with Disney on, to wear it in the parks. Um, I suppose I'll go for my first purchase, which was the Space Mountain book. Um, I'm not sure if everyone knows, but they're, they're doing a collection of these attraction books. They've already brought out Phantom Manor and Pirates of the Caribbean, which you can't see, but I've got them on the bookshelf up there. Um, but it's just a bit of history of the book, the um, the ride. So it shows you the ideas behind it, um, where it originated from. So it talks about the original Space Mountain in Disney World and then Disneyland um, and the different you know stories they had to go behind it. Um, but it's a really cool book. Uh, it's 22 euros and the woman in the shop said that you can't use annual pass discount on them. To be fair, but mm, that's yeah. my first she didn't purchase. Actually try to she didn't it. try. She just said that we um, couldn't, which yeah. is strange. So, but I know what we there you do. Go. <laughs> um, one thing we did buy on the first day was this postcard. We did actually intend to send it at home to Oscar's parents, but we completely forgot. But hey yeah. ho, now we have a cute little Big Thunder Mountain postcard as a souvenir. Frontierland's our favourite. Yeah, so. so we do love that. Um, we also got the 2021 coin, which ironically was really difficult to get hold of because all mm. of the machines that had it in were like broken down. Um, but luckily I managed to get one. So we're pleased with that because we do try and get them every year. Yeah. We also did get a 2021 magnet. Um, all the dated stuff was 30% off. But we found that there wasn't that much dated stuff. No, but just sticking with that theme, I also got these two 2021 pins. Again, they were also 30% off. Um, this one was really hard to find. Again, we always like to get the year pin um, of this sort of medallion style. Um, it was really hard to find. It was only in two shops. Mm. In, across the whole two parks, we saw it in two shops and there were only like two or three left. Yeah. So I was quite lucky to get that. They had quite a lot of the Chippendales and the Donalds and the Spinners left. So if you are going soon and you want to try and pick these up dis at discount, um, then yeah. So um, Nikki's Boutique in Fantasyland had loads of them. Um, Tower Terra Shop. Yeah, Tower Terra. I think the World of Disney had quite a few. So yeah, just to sort of give you a heads up. Yeah. Um, next, I suppose, well, little thing that I purchased, I ended up getting a lanyard dangler. Um, a I, sort of charm. Yeah, a lanyard charm, that's it. Uh, I don't know why I got it, but you brought a stitch one. Yeah, I bought a stitch one. I haven't got it with me right now, so I haven't got it to show, I'm really sorry. Um, and then Phoebe, my friend that came with us, she then got a Winnie the Pooh one, and then Oscar felt left out. So they were taking pictures of their lanyards, and I thought, <laughs> I'm not having that. So <laughs> I just got a little Mickey Mouse one. But they are actually really cool. Yeah, they are. So yeah, that's that small purchase. Yeah. Um, sticking with sort of little things, I guess, we'll just continue with our pins. So mm -hmm. I do collect stitch pins, so I just got a couple of new stitch pins. 
Um, there have been quite a few new ones out recently in the parks, but I've got a couple of them already on the way to me. So I just picked up two that I haven't yet got or ordered. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to have these and get them on my pin board. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll go for this next one. So talking about stitch pins that Chelsea collects, um, I ended up getting this Tara Terra pin because um, I don't know if you see that Disneyland Paris have been releasing the attractions pins. Well, they did a Small World one last month and a Big Thunder Mountain one this month. Um, I think we've kind of clicked that they're redoing the attraction series. Um, and this was the Tara Terra uh, pin for the attraction series that they've done with Stitch. So um, we got the Small World one in Big Thunder Mountain. So I got the Tara Terra one as well. Um, I also bought this newly released Mickey pin. Um, I think this was meant to be from the sort of the jungle book and lion yeah, King season yeah. um, but it came out recently with all of the limited editions but this was the open edition version um, again they didn't have many of these left around the parks we sort of just saw them here and there Quite but below not had quite a few but yeah. that was it really to be fair um, a few more pins well yeah. actually quite a few more pins so more comes out in a minute yeah. um, I just brought this little Christmas Mickey mm -hmm. um, it came out last year obviously the parks were closed but it just really surprised me to see it I didn't see it anywhere and I think they must have restocked them on Saturday because then loads of places had them, but. Yeah, and we also got one of these, Mickey and Minnie, and their sort of fancy wedding evening outfits, um, which is really cute. They literally only had two or three of these left in the world of Disney and we didn't see it anywhere else in the parks. And it was actually one of the pins that we went to Disneyland Paris knowing that we wanted to buy. Mm. Um, because we're actually getting married next year so we sort of used it for a little cute photo announcement um, but yeah so we were actually really lucky to get it because yeah. it was only in one location um, so really pleased about that um, and again still sticking with little things I picked up this little Christmas magnet I'm fairly certain this was only released not that long ago um, maybe Christmas last year but Could we went been. in October so I think it was released after we went yeah, um, yeah so Stitch is my fave and that is super cute um, last couple of little bits, um, even though Halloween hasn't officially started, they did have some Halloween bits out. Um, so we got some Halloween shaped pasta, they didn't have this last year, um, so really happy with that one. And I also got some Halloween cotton candy, mainly because it looks like it's purple rather than pink, and I was like, ooh, different coloured cotton candy. But because it wasn't the Halloween season, they put it out early, this stuff flew out. Yeah. Like, there was a on... Stitch t-shirt yeah. that was a skeleton. Um, and it went, it, like, we went back like the next day and it was just all gone, yeah. all the pasta. On the first day we arrived on Thursday, they had all of these tables full as if it had all just been put out. And then when we went back in the world of Disney on the Friday, just all of these, all of the pasta, just everything was gone. It, it I have just really noticed as well, it is the 21 Halloween design. So you've got yeah. Goofy's, the Scarecrow, Donald's, the Devil. It's the same design that we are using in the American parks as well. That's really cool. Art style, which is really cute. Um, we're a bit gutted actually because we missed the pins because the pins yes. are coming out this coming weekend. But so. we did get some pin, a new pin release when we were there, which again, yeah, we'll I'll come to in a minute. End. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, the next thing, we got one of these placemats with Stitch on and this is mainly for our dog. We just sit his bowls on them. Yeah. Um, we wanted to get this last year, but they did not have any of the Stitch ones in the parks anywhere when we were so there So we got a Mickey. Year. Yeah, so, so we'll rotate them now. Yeah, now, now he has two. I'm sure he'll be ever so pleased. Yeah, I'm sure he'll like it. <laughs> um, um, God, you've got more stuff than me now. I'll show you my next purchase. This was one thing again that I knew I wanted to buy when I went there. Um, I just got a, a classic Sorcerer Mickey plush. We got the 25th anniversary one with the blue robe. And I kept seeing the little red robe one and I, I was saying to Chelsea, Oh, I just really want to get it. And she was like, you don't need it. We've already got one. I was like, but he's got a blue robe. Mm. But it is cute because it is the newer style of Mickey yeah. Pot where he's got sort of chubbier cheeks. So it is quite cute. Oh, this is so... And it's just a really nice quality. I do love yeah. it. Sorcerer Mickey is my favourite. So I had to pick this up. Mm -hmm. um, I just realised we haven't done prices for anything. But this was twenty two ninety nine. Oh. We'll put it in yes. description. We'll put a link... Uh, description of how much yeah. things were. Yeah, if there is anything in particular that you want to know the price of, please just comment and we will do our absolute best to write you back. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, my next thing was this t-shirt. It's actually a t-shirt from the movie Soul that came out not that long ago. So it says half note jazz club down the pocket. It's sort of like a grey colour. And then on the back, it has got, is it Joe? Joe, yeah. Joe, yeah. Again, not something we usually buy. 
No, but this was actually in the sale. Um, they had quite a few sole merchandise bits in the sale. So this was supposed to be 25 99 It was then 30% off. And then when you have an annual pass, you get your discount off on top of that. So it was like 13 euros so in, in total. Yeah, about 14 euros, I think was it, it was, yeah. So, but 14 euros is what you would pay for a t-shirt in Primark. So I just thought, a t-shirt for Disneyland Paris for that price. A high quality t-shirt for Primark. Is a steal. <laughs> still a Primark t-shirt. Yeah. Um, only really a couple of bits left to be honest. Yeah. Um, this was something I knew I wanted to buy before we went and I'm really pleased that I managed to get it. It is the spirit jersey, the sort of French flag kind of coloured jersey I guess you could say because it's red, white and blue. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, and just for information, I'm about a UK size 12 and I always get a small in spirit jersey. I think this is probably, sorry, this is probably the only unique jersey that Fran Paris have had I think. Because all the other colours, yeah, the aqua and the arendelle. Yeah, you see these in the American parks. Like I say, I guess it's because it's maybe like the French flag kind of colour design, which is quite cool. But, but yeah, America have had the coral, the arendelle aqua and, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. not have one like that. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, other than our tin purchases that we're going to go into, I think, oh, we have two things there. Um, uh, Chelsea brought me a straw. <laughs> I, I've been eyeing these up since 2017, <laughs> and I don't know why this trip. But... I mean, I know they're a bit like babyish, but it's just. But funny, it just screw it? it screws onto a bottle, which yeah, I think is really which cool. Is cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just Mickey floating around. And you can get those pretty much at any of the little stalls and carts where you can get popcorn and drinks and waffles so and everything. I'll be buying um, bottles from now on just to yeah. use the straw. And that was five euros that straw. Um, and then whilst we were there. For the first ever time we visited the new New York Art of Marvel Hotel and it was incredible. Amazing. Now that we've actually seen it in person, we are desperate to stay there. Yeah. So we're really hoping that we'll be able to stay there for the 30th anniversary next year. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But it's it blew not me too away. expensive. <laughs> it just it completely blew me yeah. away. But so. whilst we were there, we um, went in the Skyline Bar and we had some cocktails. So this is just a little thing they give you to put your drink on. But I thought it made quite a cute souvenir. Um, and all of the glasses that they give you with your drinks in are quite unique to the bar. So they have little marble emblems like engraved on or like printed on. Um, and I just thought it was so cool. And we were like, wow, why don't they sell these in the shops? Mm. And, you know, and when the guy came over to give us our bill, I did actually ask, like, can I buy this glass? And he actually said, yeah, if you go to the bar, they will sell you a glass. So I bought a glass from the Marvel Hotel, which is just like a standard drinking glass, but you know, perfect, it does the job. And it's got the different emblems. You've got Captain Marvel, you've got Iron Man, you've got Hulk's fist, and then you've got the Avengers symbol. But it's just a bit nicer than a mug with Art of Marvel on. Yeah, definitely. It just, I, it, I don't know, I've not, really seen, I've not seen anyone else say that you can buy them. I don't no, know if it's not looking the right we places. we definitely weren't aware of this, but they also have other glasses that the different cocktails come in, because mm. depending on what cocktail you order, it depends on Martini what glass Martini glasses comes had Skyline Bar engraved. Like written inside the glass. Which was really which cool. cool. And then the cosmic glasses are all sort of bumpy. Yeah. Um, which I'm assuming you can buy them as well. Uh, but yeah, this was 14 euros. I'm pretty sure all of them, well, 14 euros. It's quite price. It's a pricey for a glass, considering yeah. The normal ones in DLP are about five like, euros. Yeah, yeah, but I don't mind to be honest, just because I thought it was really cool. Wicked. I, I actually loved it. Yeah. It's probably like my favourite purchase, to be honest, out of everything. Um, well, I, you say that. Oh, probably... okay, I actually forgot about the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last thing that we brought on the way out of the park. Yeah, and we did sort of go splits on this. So this is just the glass Big Thunder Mountain frame. Yeah. Uh, originally they sold this in the annual pass store, uh, the storybook store, but it's closed now. Yeah. And you saw this a couple of days before and uh, you're like, oh, we have it, to get yeah, that. Yeah, it was one of those items where I was just like, wow. And then the store closed down and it wasn't an annual pass store mm -hmm. anymore. But um, you can get this in Harrington's and you can actually pick ooh. what you have sort of engraved on it. So. We obviously have Big Thunder Mountain, but you don't have to have Big Thunder Mountain. You can have the castle, yeah. you can have Mickey and Minnie. It's a curved, um, thick glass frame. And you can get it personalised as well if you want to have names or yeah. dates or anything on it, you can. So um, we took a nice picture of us in front of uh, Big Thunder Mountain, which, which we'll, we'll put in pop the frame. in here. Yeah, because it's my favourite cool. attraction. And that was 49 99 that was. 
Um, but again, we've got a bit of a discount on AP it. AP discount, so, it so it's 39. Too much. Yeah, so it's alright. Um, and really, that is it, other than... The um, big one. Yeah. So I paid to go to the... La Petite Siren. <laughs> La, Petite, La Petite Siren. Yeah. Um, the, little, the Little event. Mermaid pin trading event. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first, we, we do pin trade, like you say, we, we collect the Paris Oes, but we also, um, this is the first pin event we've ever done, basically. Yeah, the first official Disney pin trading event. Um, because we had a friend with us on the trip, we didn't want to sort of drag her along, so Oscar just went on his own. Mm. Um, but met up with some people that we knew there, which was quite nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we basically got all of the pins from the event, which were exclusive to the event. They all are all Amazing. limited edition of 425. And they're all Little Mermaid themed, yeah. obviously. So yeah. what I'll do is I'll show you... We'll just quickly run through. If I give you those three. Yeah. And then if you should, because there was a set of six pins, which was sort of the the cheaper yeah. ones. So these are the set of six. So these were 17 euro each. So there's Triton, Ursula, of, um, was it Floatsman Jetsam? Yeah. A statue of Prince Eric. Um, there's Ariel signing the contract. Ursula and Ariel, and then just Ariel looking all glam in a class. Which <laughs> I think we're gonna try and trade. Um, that we're going to have them for trade, but I think that air on the clan yeah, is the one we want to keep. Yeah, this is going to be our keeper. Our definitely. little souvenir. I just think she looks amazing. Um, the next ones are the actual pin trading event pins. I love these pins. So there's yeah. four different Ursulas. So there's green Ursula and purple Ursula. Um, there's her as Vanessa in her human form, evil form. And um, <clears throat> then the final is this one, which was the free pin so if you go you get a voucher in your welcome pack and it says you get this free pin when you buy any of these pins so i got this pin for free but it was like the, su the surprise release um which is really cool so there's that one mm -hmm. and then there was this set of three which people are kind of calling them like mini jumbos just because they're a little bit bigger than the set of six that we just showed you yeah very popular um, and they're more like sort of horizontal shape so you've got that one of uh, Ariel and Eric, and it has a little sliding Sebastian in there as well. Um, and then Scuttle, is it? Where's yeah, it's Scuttle and Ariel. And then Ariel and Eric laying on the beach. Um, and then that was it for the individuals, and the inner one's left with the box sets. So the first box set was the wedding set. Now, this is one that people are going mental for. They love the cake topper with Sebastian. It's got a little dangle bell, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, Max, Eric, Cake Topper and Ariel. Uh, and then the last two were the two jumbo pins. So the first one was the jumbo of Ursula, which is amazing. These jumbos are insane. So they're huge, they're heavy, they're stained glass backs as well. So they're really good quality. It's all stained glass. Um, so yeah, there's Ariel and Ursula. Uh, and these pins are insane. Um, Especially that aerial one. It's yeah. stunning. That's gorgeous. Yeah. We're not Little Mermaid collectors, no, but these pins not. are a really, a really insane. special. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Um, that's everything we brought, all the pins from the pin trading event. We did a couple of trades, but I've already put them on our pin board, so uh, I can't show those, unfortunately. Maybe we'll take a picture and upload them on our Instagram, which is Oscar and Chelsea official. Is it Oscar and Chelsea? Oscar and Chelsea. Oscar and Chelsea official um <laughs> we'll put it in the, we'll put it in the highlights yeah. as well um for our pin trading uh but yeah that's everything we brought um so definitely more reserved than normal um but we still yeah. managed to spend a little money yeah. pretty much yeah as we always basically do. we just took more time this time to sort of really chill and just walk around the parks and just really enjoy it we ate a lot more than we usually yeah, do yeah we stopped and had drinks and snacks and but you kind of had to because it was really hot to be fair we never yeah. usually go in the summer so you never really get the opportunity to just sit and enjoy sitting because mm -hmm. you usually be freezing i said i can't remember the last time we went to disneyland paris i that's where like a parker yeah. or a hat and scarf yeah definitely um, so yeah we got our next trip in December uh, so hopefully we get some cool Christmas goodies mm -hmm. and Christmas snacks and we are staying at Newport Bay for the first Newport ever time Bay. we are buzzing about um, yeah wicked so mm -hmm. that's it that's yeah. it from us thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll speak to you soon bye